for almost 2,000 years, the city was known as Constantinople after Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. It took on the name Istanbul when the modern Turkish Republic was established. Since the 1920s, the country has become a forward-looking Western democracy with an ancient history typified by its capital. It's bright and early in the heart of Istanbul, the only city in the world where the East meets the West. While being the ancient capital for many empires, from the Romans to the Ottomans, this melting pot of different cultures boasts great food, art and spectacular architecture. And it's my playground for today. Under one flag, the Republic boasts citizens as diverse as its architecture. It's a society built by Turks, Greeks, Jews, Albanians and Arabs, all living side by side. What's unique about Istanbul is that in modern parts of the city, you get historic treasures like the Galata Tower. It was built as a watchtower by the Romans and later utilized as a jail by the Ottomans. I'm told that this is the best spot to see a panoramic view of the city. Let's go up. Watchtowers have played their role throughout Istanbul's history as control of the city was hotly contested by the Greeks, Persians, Romans and Venetians who took it by force. Once the Ottomans moved into town, they brought a lengthy period of peace and prosperity to this, the final stage of the legendary Silk Routes. It was here that Europe and the Orient came together through trade. We're on the Galata Bridge, on the Golden Horn, which connects the old city to the new city. What's pretty cool is that you actually get to see Asia from here and two continents meet. I think that's pretty amazing. Whilst Turkey has no official state religion, the capital's most defining landmark is this world-famous mosque. The complex is rich with broad, elegant curves, six minarets and almost a waterfall of domes in several sizes. The Ottoman rulers were master designers and architects, and none more so than the man who gave his name to this building and who is now buried here. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque, was built in the 17th century by order of Ottoman Emperor Sultan Ahmed. It's famous for its blue tiles, hence the name the Blue Mosque. It was built with marble and stone and took seven years to complete. Its location on the banks of the Bosphorus make it accessible to tourists and locals alike. Respectful headwear is required and visitor numbers are kept to a moderate flow to preserve the sacred atmosphere of this place of worship. Looking up does inspire awe as tens of thousands of mosaic tiles reflect the light that pours in from 260 different windows. The other side to this metropolis is the trade on which it was founded and so it continues. Oh. So lovely to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I'm so ready to do some shopping. Welcome to Grand Bazaar. Let's go in. It's the aromas you notice first of succulent doner kebabs, the flavors of Mediterranean dishes, and the hookah pipes so symbolic of the Turkish experience. What's the history behind the Grand Bazaar? It was built in the 15th century, in the Ottoman period. So since then, it became the heart center of the city not just for tourists, but also, you know, for the locals here. They come and they want to feel this traditional atmosphere here because there are beautiful, you know, handicrafts inside there, like the carpets. Uh, there are, you know, beautiful jewelries, which has the, you know, mixture of all this Asia and Europe, you know, all this art get together and it formed the Grand Bazaar. The goods on show are the result of an empire that spanned from Austria to northern Africa. The Ottoman court employed 1,400 cooks. And if you thought the English drink a lot of tea, then think again. I love the authenticity of this place. Is it a coffee shop? This is a tea shop, actually. You know, tea is more uh, preferred in Turkey. That's why we drink like five, six glasses in a day. And we serve it in these tiny little glasses. It actually represents a tulip flower. You know, tulip was the uh, main flower of the Turkish Empire. Traditional costumes are a statement of strong national identity. 
While modern Turkey is a part of the European Union, it has always retained its colorful individuality. A classic example is their delicious Turkish delight. Known here as lokum, it's made from a gel of starch and sugar and has carried the name of Turkey around the world. Everybody knows the classics, uh, but uh, it's a long time ago. Nowadays, it's a development. There's a many type. Then the, the people they prefer so many kinds, with fruits, kiwi, or cherry, orange. This is uh, pomegranate, pistachio, and over with coconuts. Mm. I think this is so delicious. Can I stay at your shop? <laughs> yeah, of course. If you want, you can work also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. The English name for locum was coined in the 1800s when a British man reportedly became so fond of it on his travels that he bought cases of it and shipped them home under the name Turkish Delight. I'm going to be the favorite amongst my family and friends. This is the perfect gift. We weren't the only ones taking home some of Istanbul's finest. Almost 40 million tourists visit the country each year. Turkey's UNESCO World Heritage Sites are only half the story. The other is the cuisine. Central Asian, Caucasian, Middle Eastern or Mediterranean, it's all on offer. So in here we have the stop vine leaf and this is eggplant. Eggplant is very famous in Turkey as you see. This one is looking like couscous. It's not couscous, it's crack wheat. We call it bulgur and they just add some onion and then parsley, uh, some tomato paste in it, and it's served cold with the olive oil. Iran lies to the east, Greece to the west. You can sail north to the Black Sea, south to the Mediterranean, or do it 21st century style. From this home of Turkey's national carrier, you can fly to more countries than with any other airline. Nothing beats being in a state-of-the-art lounge just before a long flight home. I've been invited by Turkish Airlines to experience theirs. This 6,000 square meter luxurious space has a little something for all travelers. Let's explore. What you cannot leave without enjoying is a brew so good that Turkish coffee is listed as a UNESCO cultural heritage. Turkish coffee is quite popular around the world. What's the cultural significance? We have an old expression that one single cup of coffee can create a friendship that lasts for 40 years. We have two aspects importance of Turkish coffee. One of them, when the bride came uh, to her hand in marriage, we offered the Turkish coffee to her sweeter and to their family. The other importance of Turkish coffee that we have is this the fortune teller. While you're finishing the Turkish coffee, after you finish it, you turn over the over cup and there's a remain some shape over it. And some people can read the, your future while they're looking at their shapes. You serve it quite differently to normal coffee. We first drink the water before drinking the Turkish coffee because uh, the water cleans your tongue and it's uh, better to take the Turkish coffee. And then we drink the coffee after we drink the coffee, we consume the Turkish Delight. What do you think about the combination between Turkish coffee and Turkish Delight? The coffee is quite strong, but the sugar just lightens it a bit. Yeah, that's why we prefer to drink Turkish coffee with the Turkish Delight. If tea is more to your taste, then the variety of herbal brews is almost unlimited. One is good for your stomach, another helps you sleep. Always good before a long flight. There's a Scalectrix track for the young at heart, and you can even use the downtime to work on your golf swing or manage a chapter or two in the library. It's so easy to forget that time exists here. I've had such a blast and enjoyed every minute, but it's time for my next adventure. In years to come, they expect Istanbul's new airport to be the world's busiest. And with Turkish Airlines selected as Europe's best airline for the last five years, you can believe it.